everyone, welcome back to Lavendaire. It's Eileen. Today I'm gonna share some favorites from the month of September. So this month was a little bit better than last month. I felt like last month was a struggle. This month was eventful and fun and just trying to get the momentum going. I have been hibernating a little bit more on social media because I've been working on the next year's Artist of Life workbook. Something cool I got to do this month was speak in Inglewood at an event organized by Femme Scholar. So Femme Scholar is a non profit dedicated to empowering young women to achieve success through education and it focuses on young women in the community so I got to speak with a lot of seniors in high school from Inglewood and just like you know sharing tips and advice on school and how to organize your life honestly I felt really honored to be there I was really inspired by the women there because it wasn't just me there were other like mentors there and there's something special about like women supporting women women empowering empowering each other, coming together, and feeling for each other, even though we come from different backgrounds. So that was pretty cool. Moving on, my first favorite of the month is in a similar vein. It's something online that you guys should all definitely check out. It's called Time First, Women Who Are Changing the World. So it's just a bunch of features and interviews and just content on women who are badass, who are succeeding in life, doing something really cool, changing the world. And I love that it features women in all different areas. There's women in the arts, in science, in sports, in business, and I think it's just so incredibly inspiring. If you are a woman who wants to do something with your life or do something in the world, definitely check out this website. Go through all the interviews. You don't have to read them all. I didn't read through them all. I only watched like the videos and I picked like the people that I was curious about, but I also was really pleasantly surprised to read about people that I've never heard about. Like like astronauts or oceanographers and race car drivers. So it was just so cool. And it just reminded me that women are so cool. We are so badass. We are strong. We are smart. We are capable. We are so multifaceted, multi-talented. And we each have our own unique gifts that we should use or share with the world in some way. And you know, it, it all comes down to like figuring out what your strengths and your gifts are and what you can do in the world and then doing that to the best of your ability. So I was just super inspired reading this. You guys will definitely, definitely love it. And I'm so, so, so happy that Time is posting more collections like this. I mean, I, I always follow those like 30 under 30 or Time's 100 most influential people. Like I love those lists because I aspire to be in the same world as, as those people and I don't know, I, I love it. It's just so much fuel for my dreams. My next favorite is this coconut water face toner that I found on Thrive Market for $6. Like that is so cheap for toner. And I even bought another toner, but I, I like this one more because of its spray. Um, the spray just mists your face in such fine liquid particles like the particles are so tiny It's not like it doesn't splash on your face. It literally is like the perfect mist That's the reason why I like this toner because like I don't have to you know Put the toner on a cotton pad or on my hand and do this. I feel like you know the water drips around I like to put on toner. I mean first I'll do it with a cotton pad But I second or third or more times I'll use my hands so with this I will just spray it on my face, pat it in, spray it on my face, pat it in. And the reason I'm doing multiple layers of toner is another recent discovery. The lady who does my nails is also in beauty and makeup and she gives seminars on skincare. And she told me that she puts on over five layers of toner every time. And me personally, before I would just swipe on one layer of toner and then I'll go on with essence and serum and all the other stuff. And she's like, no, your skin needs to drink. Your skin needs to like drink the water. So she just does multiple layers. And so I try to do that and I love it. It makes a difference. It does take considerably more amount of time, but I mean, I have fun doing skincare, so I have fun like spraying, patting, spraying, patting. It's really fun for me. 
<laughs> I also looked it up on Google and I found out it's a real thing. Like in Korean beauty, they do pack on layers and layers of toner and essence, which are the more watery products. So this entire time, whenever I saw a headline like Korean nine step skincare routine or nine step this, seven step this, 15 step this, I thought it was because they had nine different products because Koreans do have a lot of different products and it could go up to like seven to 10 layers. But I realized that part of the steps is repeating the same toner for five or more layers. Yeah, okay. Anyway, and since I mentioned my nail lady, like honestly, these nails are my favorite. I feel like every time I get new nails, I mention them as my favorite. So it might get old for you guys, but this is a new style and I'm really enjoying it. It's super cute and I feel like I could grow them out and they will still look good. I like to grow my nails out for like five weeks, four to four to six weeks. The last time I went to do it, I had them grown out for six weeks and they were so long, but I'm just kind of lazy going back to the nail place. It's a commitment, but I think it's worth it. My next favorite is an app called Trello. So Trello is an organization and productivity app where you can organize your to-dos, organize your projects, organize different areas of your life. You can really do a lot with it because of its like flexible interface. So there are cards that you can organize. So I like having a list of things, but I also like rearranging that list constantly. You can create labels and color coordinate everything. You can sort things by their due date. And I personally love using it because I'm using it to organize my workbook project to do's and also I've created another board for like content ideas so for a long time I've been like using Google Docs and Google Spreadsheets to organize my content ideas but Google Sheets can get really messy plus it's hard to like move things around it's hard to write notes where you want them attach links and attach images where you want them so with Trello I find that there's more flexibility in doing things like this. And also Trello is great for like collaborating with other people. So if you work on a team, it'd be really helpful to like have a shared Trello board together. Honestly, there are so many different ways you can use Trello. I've seen people use it for meal planning, for planning a remodel of their home, job hunting, and just any creative projects. Like if you're working on a film, there are different like parts that you have to constantly be in touch with. Lastly, I'm gonna like repeat my favorite from last month is Kevin Hart's audiobook. I can't make this up life lessons I mentioned it last month because I just started listening to it Well this month I finished listening to the entire book and I can wholeheartedly 1000% recommend listening to this audiobook because one you will laugh you will laugh so much and you will learn so much Kevin Hart is inspiring he's hardworking he gives a lot of like words of wisdom and he like you know pairs it with like his realness with his comedy and he's not afraid to be so vulnerable that, that he shows the bad parts of himself the parts that like I know everyone listening will probably judge him a little bit because he shares his flaws, he shares his mistakes, he shares everything. He shares the good, he shares the bad, he shares like the most wise, inspirational parts of himself, but he also shares like the worst parts of himself, the parts where he like hates himself for and it's not something that a lot of people are comfortable sharing and so he is definitely like doing something really refreshing with this audiobook. After listening to it, you'll fully see the journey of a man who had nothing, who grew up in this place and ended up all the way up here, and just the ups and downs that came along the way because even when he's successful, nothing's perfect. He has a lot of issues and a lot of pro problems that he shares. So it's fascinating. I think it just gives you a whole view of a human being that nobody is perfect nobody's life is perfect but at the same time you can still live a life that's full and inspiring and still like on the move like at the end of this book like he said like i'm not done yet i'm just getting started like he wants to create so much more with his life and do so much more and listening to that i think at the end of it the most inspiring part was to remember to not rest on your laurels, never stop. Just continue to strive, continue to do better than you were before. Don't get too comfortable even if you've reached success, even if you've made it in the traditional sense. There's still so much more to reach for. 
All right, so that's the first time I've ever recommended something twice, which you know means it's really, really good and it's really worth listening to. Plus, Kevin Hart is so relatable that I think the average person can relate to him. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell if you haven't already. Love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.